is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Corvus OS 15 and this is the latest build the 3rd April 2021 build I guess and there are two separate versions as usual one includes the GApps and one does not and here both builds are on MIUI vendor not based on OSS vendor. Of course pretty similar Android 11 build and it is maintained by Ritz97 over here you can see and you can download it from the description box below of this video or I'll give the link of this particular post. And here if you want to see the change logs, you can see all of the change logs over here. If you scroll down, we have all of these change logs, but there are plenty of like improvements over here that have been done. And from here, you can also see the device side change logs. But let me tell you the version 15 kind of change log are not there. It, it is like they are up to like 14.5 only. So yeah but this is Corvus OS version 15. Let me show you over here in the Android version, we have the Corvus OS logo up there. Then the Android version is of course 11 as you are noticing. Let me go back, the Corvus version shows as Ravenclaw and we have the phone specification over here, still shows as 5GB RAM, I don't know why, even though this is a 6GB RAM unit and we have the Android security patch as latest of March 5th, 2020, not quite April yet. And we have the build date over here, which says 3rd April 2021. And here is the stock kernel that is the Perf G kernel. And in the SLinux status, you can see it's permissive. Talking about the system panel, it does not still have the system updater. And in the gesture settings, we have all of these things like the quickly open camera option is there. The system navigation gestures is there. And if you go into the settings, we can customize the gesture bar length and the dead zone and stuff. Haptic feedback is there and we have the back gesture animation disabling option but let me tell you there is no option to change the thickness of this build bar although you can customize the length of this let me go back we have the two and three button navigations too over here and from here we also have the swipe rig screenshot so this actually works it also has the scrolling feature then the delete and edit option so that's great and in the power menu we have the sensitive content and stuff and this is how the power menu looks like you can like have the smart home kind of customization and stuff and you can turn off the lights if you want to and we have the advanced reboot of course in the settings you can enable in the customization section and as you can see you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here let me go back we have the adaptive playback option and we have the gboard as the default keyboard in the front camera sound effects we only have the front camera sound settings and we have the camera led disabling option but there is no calibration option yet over here now talking about the look of the rom i have been really liking this look of this particular rom and as you can see the home screen looks a lot like more cool over here with the stock wallpaper swiping up gets you to the app drawer and this is how the app drawer looks like and swiping down gets you to the notification or the quick settings panel by the way this rounded corner thing i will show you that later on and swiping to the left we have the google's discover page widgets and stuff in the home screen is working fine no issues with that and there is also the app lock as you can see we have this protected app kind of thing but this is in the launcher settings let me show you over here if i go into the home screen settings we have the notification dots the icon packs then the show search bar and the swipe to access google app and inside suggestions you can disable the suggestions so that's a good thing i guess and we have the hidden and protected app so you can go into it and you can lock any particular app from here or you can hide them from the app drawer so that is great and we have the notification gestures and stuff then the double tap to sleep gesture and swipe down to clear all recents and the google feed tab option is there now of course we have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and this is how it works as you can see even the finger bit scanner speed is fine as you are noticing from the always on display and from the lock screen let me show you here as you can see the finger bit scanner speed is very fast and it is very smooth no issues whatsoever and the finger bit scanner is very reliable here like let me show you even with night light turned on it unlocks super fast and super fine no issues with that as you are noticing even with night light the finger bit scanner works 100% of the time no issues whatsoever also in this google tab we have the like google lens integration over here so that is great also we have the mic option over here so yeah talking about the quick settings panel you can edit and add these many toggles let me show you from here i have added couple of them already but if you scroll down you get these many quick toggles over here that you can add now from here let me show you this is how the quick toggle section looks like and we have the android 11 screen recorder with that you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time also we have the dc dimming feature then the reboot toggle is also there so if your power button is broken or something you can use this toggle heads up disabling option is there then the volume panel option is also there 
by the way let me show you by like going into the home screen this is how the volume panel looks like and as you are noticing this has a lot more like rounded kind of feel and it looks like very cool over here in the ui let me show you like wherever i can go as you are noticing the volume panel looks very very beautiful and yeah it looks very cool and it has this kind of a little bit more opacity if you are noticing let me show you one more time as you are noticing it has a little bit like opacity kind of thing you can see the background a little bit with the volume panel so yeah that looks very very cool talking about the customizations i'm not gonna show you everything here you can watch this particular video i did on the redmi note 7 pro to see what customizations are there it is very similar to that but except for that let me show you over here if you go into the lock screen there is the fingerprint scanner kind of thing like you get the fingerprint icons and as you are noticing there are these many fingerprint scanner icons you can use any of these icons but also there are the like fingerprint scanner animations now one thing that i can complain here with the fingerprint scanner animation even with the scanning or the cyberpunk 2077 animation it does not show me the actual cyberpunk 2077 animation which i get in evolution x rom or some other roms so yeah that's how it is the experience is like the name here is different and it acts like a little bit different like let me show you this dn1 see this is not the dn1 this is the future or something like if i switch the future now as you can see this is not the future one so yeah this is how it is the thing which kind of animations are a little bit different here and you don't actually get what you see in the name and we have the disable night light when showing a 4d and stuff then the fingerprint authentication vibration and stuff is there but let me tell you there is no option to always unlock with the fingerprint scanner still over here so that is a bummer if you are looking for it and yes of course there are a lot more customization which you can find again from the card right there now talking about this raven theme section we have the accent color picker and from here you can pick any particular accent color that you want so yeah a lot of options are there and also plethora of fonts that you get by default we get the google sans i guess or i have set it to google sans i forgot but yeah this is how it looks and yeah you can set to any font and as you can see plethora of fonts are there and we have the icon shapes then we have the status bar icon set and you can choose from them and quick setting header style you can choose accent color and stuff if you want to then we have the switch style this is for the toggle style in the settings and then we have the system theme you can set it to pitch black if you want the background to be completely dark so yeah and we also have the schedule option and we have the status bar height you can change the status bar height over here that will increase the gap or something but with this rounded corner if you set it to large as you are noticing this like volume panel and stuff then the quick settings panel everything becomes this kind of round so yeah in the theme section you have to go to this rounded corner and you have to set it to large that's how you get all of these like round kind of edges over here in the whole ui talking about the battery settings this is how it looks like and we have the full battery usage by just tapping over here and the battery life should be pretty good and then we have the battery saver mode we have the extreme battery saver then the turn off when charged and stuff options are there again the battery settings sometimes just does not like work properly then we have the last full charge and the screen on time and stuff but here let me tell you the design battery capacity current battery capacity etc was working in the previous builds but right now it is buggy and all of these are showing unavailable for some reason i do not know why but yes this is how it is right now and the battery temperature also shows up on the bottom in the display settings let me show you this is how it looks like we have the dark theme night light adaptive or auto brightness then inside styles and wallpapers if you go into this clock section here let me show you we do not have much options for the like always on display so yeah and the grid options are there and we have up to six by seven grid and we have the wallpaper section of course we get the stock wallpaper like this looks very cool the corvus wallpaper i have been liking pretty much and we have the color set to boost it then and you can change the screen timeout up to 30 minutes and we have the screen attention mode then we have the auto rotate screen and stuff colors are set to boost it by default inside lock screen we have this kind of options and we have the always show time and info and stuff let me scroll down we have the double tap to wake and the enable blurs option also we get the dc dimming mode over here now in the sound settings this is how it looks like again the animations looks cool and we have the volume steps so that is fine and we have the vibrate for calls then if you scroll down we have the touch vibration and we have the direct sound and stuff really sorry for the background noise guys and we have the link ring notification etc and of course we have the me audio direct with this 
you can set it to youth edition and stuff and the sound quality via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well should be good enough we have the sound presets and we have the hi-fi option too for the audio so yeah pretty much the sound quality is great over here inside security we have the face unlock too so let me set it up so right now let's try with the face unlock let me just double tap over here it pops out the front camera and it unlocks just notice the speed of the face unlock i double tap and it unlocks so the face unlock speed is fairly fast considering this device has a pop-up selfie camera now let's talk about some other things like the stock cameras and stuff and i would say the stock camera is very disappointing for me at least let me show you this is the old kind of google camera and i personally do not like this camera so that's the reason why i have flashed magisk and with that i have flashed the version 185r of the anx camera and here with the like anx camera version 185r let me show you everything is working fine we have the wide angle lens working fine telephoto also works fine and normal lens is of course working fine in the video settings we get up to like 4k 60 fps and stuff but if you want to install this anx camera version 185r click on the card right over there you will get the full guide and also you can get the safety net working without any issues and talking about the daily driving performance the rom's performance is great and here are the antutu and geekbench score of this particular rom and as you can see antutu is like too much right now because with the latest antutu version the benchmark scores are really high for what reason i do not know but yeah that's how it is talking about the drm info it shows l3 for me because i have broken my drm certification earlier but if you have intact drm certification that is l1 it should be l1 for you still since this is a mui vendor based rom and in terms of safety net yes it passes the safety net test right out of the box also if you want to flash magic and still get safety net working watch that video again from the card right there that anx camera video you can get the safety net working fully fine no issues with that but one more power that i can talk about here is the google assistant yes it is working if you swipe from these corners as you are noticing but hey google or ok google keywords just does not work over here i have also installed assistant and i tried it to like get it working but yeah the voice trigger does not work here and by the way this is how the recent panel looks like we have the screenshot taking option then the clear all option kill app option and you can share a particular screen if you want to and if you tap here you can go to the apps like split screen mode or the pin mode over here and you can uninstall the app directly from here also we have the apps info from here so the corvus os has pretty much everything it has the double tap to sleep in the home screen then we have the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar and all of the ui customization like this rounded corners and stuff and everything almost is working fine except we have the weird kind of stock camera and you have to install anx camera if you're daily driving on this rom i feel the stock wallpaper looks good and it has plenty of customizations with the fonts with the colors and everything else so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down below if you have not yet this is chito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now